What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I'm going to get into all the new benches and tables that were added to Conan Exiles with the economy update and with update 2.3. Now, I have covered most of these tables in my Guide to Crafting series. If you're not familiar with that, I will link that series or playlist in the top right-hand corner of this video in the description of this video as well. The first one that I want to talk about is the Tanner's Table. This is unlocked at level 10, and this is a brand new table. Now, the Tanner's Table is where you're going to make things like twine, where you're going to stretch hide or strip hide, and obviously turn your hide into different things. So you could turn hyena pelt into hide. The other thing that goes on this table, other than a Tanner, would also be an armor. Now, the armor is going to give you a couple of recipes that you won't have with a Tanner. So you can stretch hide to make thick hide. You use four regular and a twine in order to do that and then you also have the recipe to turn gossamer into silk on this table now one thing that you should keep in mind is that you really don't want the armor on this table unless you are using one of these two recipes the rest of the time you want to have a named tanner on this table because they are going to have an increase in crafting speed for all of these other recipes Moving on down the list, we have the casting table. Now this is unlocked at level 10. And the casting table is where all the casting is going to be done. So you can see our glass flask recipe is here, our coin recipes, all of our jewelry recipes are going to be on the casting table. Now there's a couple of options for thralls that you could put on the casting table. You can put an armor on the casting table or you could put a blacksmith on the casting table. Now I definitely recommend an armor and not only any armor, but I recommend an armor with the specialization that you wanna use if you are crafting any of the jewelry. For example, this particular piece of jewelry was crafted with no thrall on the bench. It gives me an armor value of 8, durability of 160, and the weight is a .06. This one was crafted with the armor with the weight specialization. You can see it gives me armor of 16, durability of 180, and a weight of 0.05, and its bonus is agility. Now, both of the bonuses for agility that I got with the named thrall on the bench gave me a total of three attribute points for both of these sets. This particular one only gave me two attribute points for that set. The one that I crafted with the blacksmith, however, actually only has an armor value of eight. So it really reduces the armor value that you get from the armorer if you use a blacksmith. Even though you still gain some points in other areas, like the durability went up to 208.8 and the weight did go down to 0.05, you're missing out on those additional armor points for all of that jewelry. So you definitely wanna go with an armorer when you are crafting those items. But like I said, definitely use the armorer if you're going to be crafting any of the jewelry. Other than that, really having a thrall on this bench is more for looks than anything else because you don't get a reduction in resources, nor do you get a speed increase for crafting when you put those thralls on there. And I went through the other thralls like the Tanner and it won't go on there. The Smelter, they won't go on there either. Now, one thing that you're going to have to know about the casting table is there's a little bit of a bug when it comes to crafting the glass flask. So you have to have the mold in there, but if we go back up and select it, it says we can only craft one right now. So, you can see I've got plenty of glass in here to craft just a ton of these. If I click craft one, you can see it bounces up and shows that I can craft 662. That doesn't always happen. If this doesn't show up like this, what you need to do is click the craft button like this. See, it's not showing up. Then what you need to do is click here to cancel it, and then it's going to show you everything you can craft. Now you probably noticed that I had two glass flask molds in here when I started the video. 
So the other option is to just go right here like that, and then it updates to how many you can actually craft. So if you want to have two in there like I do, you can do that. And as you can see, sometimes it just works, sometimes it doesn't. I know Funcom is working on fixing that. I've seen many iterations of them working to fix that particular instance or that bug hopefully you go to craft it and it works just fine but if it doesn't i've shown you how to get around it now the flask issue isn't just a flask issue it's actually a mold issue so if you are making coins the same thing happens you have to hit craft and then it will update and then you can do it again so with any of the flasks you'll find that issue at least in the current state of the game Moving over to the Tinker's Table, you can see the Tinker's Table is unlocked at level 12. Now this is going to have all the attachments for your armor and for your weapons. It's also going to have your repair kits on there. So if I just scroll through and show you, that's everything that this table makes. Now in order to have the legendary weapon repair kit, you do have to have a blacksmith with the hammer specification. In order to craft the legendary armor patch kit, you will need an armorer with the hammer specification in order to make that. The rest of this stuff you can make with or without a thrall. It's not going to change any of the points or attributes for these items they are going to be exactly the same it doesn't matter whether you have a blacksmith or an armorer on this bench down to the dyer's bench now the dyer's bench is unlocked at level 25 and i actually missed something that this bench does when i did my guide to alchemy and i'm going to cover that in this video so the dyer's bench here we go you can craft your black and white dyes as long as you have a tier 3 thrall or above on there. So if we put the tier 3 thrall on there, you can see we get black and white dye. What I had missed in my Alchemist video was the fact that it actually is where you make all the war paint. So it doesn't matter whether it's decorative or whether it gives you a bonus like the strength war paint. That is where this is going to be crafted. Additionally, you will have access to all these dyes and you have a lot of new dyes, full green dye being my favorite. Moving on to the Alchemist Bench, this was added in the economy update as well. And the Alchemist Bench is where you're going to craft almost everything that has to do with alchemy. Everything you were used to doing on the Firebolt Cauldron, for the most part, is in this bench. So I'll just give you a quick peek at what's in here. It's all your potions, it's all your fodder, all your healing stuff. And additionally, the Radium Gems and the Witch Fire Powder is on here as well. This is also where you're going to craft all of your water-filled flasks and your orbs. So there's all the orbs. And then if you have a named alchemist on this bench, you get these four additional recipes. So you get two recipes for tar, you get the recipe for spice and the recipe for oil. You can also get the recipe for oil with a tier three alchemist. So don't turn down one of those if you haven't run across a named alchemist. The last thing that I'm going to cover in this video is the Orb of Nurgle. And this is actually not a crafting item, but it is a new bench. Now, this is unlocked at level 45. And what this bench does is allow you to change the appearance of your character. So we're going to go in here and you can see that we can change our race. We can change our voice. We can change our head options, everything in there face and body just like we were before and then body features just like everything else so you can go in there and make your character a little bit different tweak yourself up make yourself look totally different if you want to but that option is now in the game and that's it for new benches. I'm pretty sure that I covered all the ones that were added with the economy update and after that as well in 2.2 or 2.3 if anything was added later. So let me know what you guys think about the fact that you do have to have new benches to do specific things. Do you think that's very cool? Do you not like that? 
I want to know what you think in the comment section below. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.